What's up guys, Alec here and today I'm going to be helping you solve a problem when you're trying to log into your Instagram account. So occasionally Instagram is really annoying and it logs you out of all your accounts and when you try to log back in you get an error message. This error message says, sorry there was a problem with your request. Now you know your password is 100% correct and you still seem to be getting this message and you still can't log in. So in this video I'm going to give you every single method that I know of to help you solve this issue. Now I've watched every single video, read every single blog and even done some of my own research so I'm going to give you every single different way possible that I've found that actually works. First of all, check that your account hasn't been banned by Instagram. Don't worry, it shouldn't be, but just in case. If it was banned by Instagram, when you try to log in, you would get this message. If you go onto your computer to instagram.com slash and then you put your username and your account is still there, everything should be fine and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna start with the easiest methods and then finish with the harder ones. First thing you can do is try tapping on forgotten password, entering your username, and then it will send an email to the email address linked with that account which then sends you a link which will help you log in. Now this method has worked for me before, but when I tried it this time I had the problem, it wasn't working, it was just taking me straight back to the login page. The second method is uninstalling the app and switching off the device. Um, this one has worked for a lot of people before, apparently online, um, I've never had any luck with it myself. Now the third method is to actually keep tapping the login button. Um, now I know this one sounds a bit silly, but I've done a lot of research online and there are a lot of people that have actually had success just by continuously tapping the login button, they repeatedly get the error message, sorry there was a problem with your request, but people have said that after they've tapped the button 10 times, they've actually been logged into their account. However, this method has never actually worked for me. I just get the message, please wait a minute before you can try again after I've done it multiple times. And I've tried this multiple times on different days at different times of the day. Um, tapping on the login button for me doesn't work, but a lot of people have said that it actually does. Method number four is to actually login from a different Wi-Fi. Now this has something to do with IP addresses. I'm not too sure how it works, but a lot of people have said that if you go to a different Wi-Fi and log into your account, everything works from there. So try it out. Fifth method is when you tap on forgotten password, you can then tap on a button that says need more help. And this will take you through to Instagram's request support form. Um, now I've read online that people have had success with this, um, but I have never ever had any help from Instagram when filling out a support form or reporting a problem. Um, but it's worth a try if you still can't get in. I've tried filling it out myself and I've never heard anything back from them this time either. So if you do have any luck with this, let me know in the comment section down below, I'd be interested. And now finally, the last method is the method that worked for me. It's the longest one and the most annoying one, but it is to reset your iPhone. Now if you have an Android phone, I think you might get this problem as well, and if you do, just try and also reset your phone. The biggest problem when it came to resetting my iPhone is that it has to be all content and settings. And the worst part is that you can't restore a backup where you already had this problem. If you have a backup from before you were getting the error message, sorry there was a problem with your request, go for it, you can restore that backup. But otherwise, you have to treat it as a brand new phone and a brand new device. If you do restore a backup where you already had the problem, it's not gonna change anything at all. So those were my six methods on how you can fix this error message. If you have any more methods that have worked for you, let me know down in the comment section below. If one in particular has really helped you out, please let me know as well. If this video is helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe. And again, guys, thanks for watching.